Will millionaire Robert Durst clear his name in the death of a California friend, or will he spend the rest of his life in prison? That's the focus of a special 48 Hours tomorrow night featuring two shows. 48 Hours correspondent Aaron Moriarty joins us live this afternoon from New York City. And Aaron, good afternoon. Robert Durst has been called a serial killer. How many people has he allegedly killed? Well, I mean, it's a really interesting question, Elliot. He, he's associated with the disappearance of his wife. His, his wife's body has never been found, so no one knows absolutely if she's dead. But he has been accused of, of having to do with her disappearance. He was accused and went on trial for killing a neighbor. He was acquitted of that, even though he admitted he dismembered the body. And now he is actually charged with the murder of, of a close friend of his back in 2000, a woman by the name of Susan Berman. And now he is being tr uh, transported from one state to another state to face trial? Elliot, this is the most unusual plea agreement. It's actually a plea agreement made in federal court. He is, tr he is charged with a federal gun charge in Louisiana. And as part of the plea deal, he said, okay, I'm going to go to prison. He'll probably go to prison for seven to eight years. But he's going to be held in Los Angeles. They're going to move, to move him to Los Angeles so he can go on trial for the murder of Susan Berman. And it sounds almost bizarre that you would want that, but he says through his attorney that he wants to clear his name. He's tired of being associated with this 15-year murder. He says he didn't do it, and he wants to go on trial in Los Angeles. Aaron, tell us a little, about, a little bit about the case where... Uh, he killed someone and admitted to chopping up his body. That just sounds so horrible. It's, it's almost hard to believe. In 2001, he was living in Galveston, um, and his neighbor was found dead. Um, and there were parts of his body floating in Galveston Bay. It was connected to Robert Durst. He was charged with murder. Um, and then at trial, though, the, the head of the victim was never found. So the prosecutors could never really prove exactly how he died. Robert Durst said it was self-defense. Um, there wasn't enough evidence to say one way or the other. So he was acquitted, although he was found guilty of, of dismembering the body. So he did spend a little time in prison. Um, he is worth $100 million. He has wonderful legal uh, assistance and the same lawyers who got him off in Galveston will be representing him in L.A. Um, it's a strange saga just getting stranger. Yeah, we really need to watch your show in order to understand this better. Aaron Moriarty, thank you very much for joining us from New York City this afternoon. And don't miss 48 Hours, Murder 90210, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. right here on CBS4, followed, of course, by CBS4 News at 11.